Hello. So today we are going to do a couple things. First, we are going to replace this hose, which is super easy. Oh, like that. Because this one started leaking and I put two clamps on it and fixed it, but it's not done correctly. So I just bought a new hose. So that's one thing. And we got a new bypass valve. Um, I would say you could, would call it like a mechanical instead of electric. It's a, not, it's a mechanical valve versus the stock electronic. And um, I don't know, I just want to see how it does with it compared to the stock. I don't know if there will be much improvement, but we'll see. Might have some uh, good differences on it. So there's the old one, if you can't see that. And we'll have to be, we'll have to run a vacuum line from the back of the intake to it, which will be easy. And other than that, that's it. Just unbolt it, there's only three bolts, so it won't be too bad. But first, we'll get this vacuum line situated. Or not vacuum line, sorry. First, we will get this coolant line fixed. Okay, the vacuum line we're going to tap into is this one right back here before the check valve. It's that one. I don't know if you could see it. I'll probably or, no, do that. So this is the bypass, this is the line we're going to tee off of. I've already actually have the upgraded rubber lines that I made myself, the metal check valve, so we'll just put a T right there. Back to the turbo.
okay, third girl, third gear pull. Yeah, it's running uh, awesome. I am super happy with this car and how it turned out. Like that is awesome. It pulls super hard and no codes, no no overboost, nothing. So I'm super happy with it. Has it made a difference? Um, that's hard to say. It, I don't know if it's making a huge difference. It's definitely loud. I think it's definitely louder. It might hold the boost a little better, but honestly, it's hard to say if it made too big a performance gains. I'll have to drive it a little bit more. And I didn't have it tuned for that long before I uh, did this. I've only put probably 500 miles on it since it's been tuned. So honestly, it's hard to say if it made that big of a difference, but it sounds good. It was cheap, no electrical issues. So I don't have to worry about that failing. The mechanical ones should last a while unless the spring gets unless the spring gets worn out. But yeah, for 33 bucks, I'm completely happy. It is actually really loud. Honestly, I'm super happy with it. It sounds good. It runs good. And then uh, I don't know. There's a lot of more, a lot more things I want to do to it. But at the moment, I currently love how it runs. So we'll see what's next. I do have some big things coming for it, but. Um, still in the works on it so I'll be making a video soon but yeah thanks for watching I hope you guys like the install and uh, please like share and subscribe